Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, we're doing the Norwegian high speed run in the Mercedes Benz EQC. The Norwegian high speed run is a battle against the clock over a route that is 615 kilometers on a mixture of country roads and motorways. We're starting here at Circle K in Sandvika, right outside of Oslo. We're going south to the train station in Kristiansand and then back again to this starting point. And as I said, the point of the test is to complete the route as quickly as possible because what we're putting to the test is an EV's range efficiency and also charging speed because going 615 kilometers you know we will exceed the range of this car which has a 414 kilometer WLTP range so our consumption and also especially our charging speed along the route will dictate how quickly this car will complete this task. And at the end of the video, we will put this in the chart with all the other cars I have done this test with. And I'm, you know, predicting that we will come about around mid pack, seven hours 15, maybe seven hours 20, which isn't a bad time, but that's where I'm predicting. The conditions today are quite nice, 20 degrees Celsius here, sunny blue skies and dry weather, but the forecast says it will maybe start to rain when we get south to Christian Sun. And guys, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Chris, I have this channel dedicated to testing EVs. I do range tests, efficiency tests, charging tests. I do this, you know, the time attack, which is the Norwegian high speed run and a review. So if these are the types of videos you guys like, please be sure to drop a thumbs up, a like on the video down below, and also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. I also took a look at the wind map and it is a bit windy today. On our way down south, we should have a headwind of about three to four meters per second. And once we hit the coast, start moving, you know, southwest, that should turn into a crosswind. And also on the way back, you know, that headwind should be a tailwind. So that will, you know, affect the consumption somewhat today. So yeah, I'm just charging to 100% here, guys, and then we will be on our way. We have now been on the road for one hour and 13 minutes and we are hitting the end of the motorway section, the first motorway section, which has been, yeah, 128 kilometers, 129 kilometers from our starting point. Consumption though is quite high, 24.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers with an average speed of 105 kilometers an hour. And that is probably due to, well, of course, you know, uh, the, the high speed, but also, you know, the headwind we have according to the wind map, which is about three to four meters per second. I mean, that consumption with this temperature, 20 and a half degrees, you know, we have had between like 20 and 22 degrees. Yeah, that is, that is a bit high. So um, also the car is estimating that we should arrive at our destination or turnaround point rather, the train station in Kristian Sun with 16% battery left. So that means we will be able to go to the train station and also start heading back and charge probably at Ionity in Lillesand, which is a nice uh, stopping point. Uh, and yeah, so looking good so far, you know, it will rather be down to the charging time in Lillesand, so maybe we sh will get a, a good time today because traffic, yeah, it's not too bad, but we are now hitting this section where we only have, you know, the two lane roads where, you know, there is a bit of traffic, but you know, it's 11.23, so the time of day isn't too bad. So yeah, it, should, it shouldn't be too bad, okay? So we're just gonna keep on continuing. The weather thus far is still very nice, you know, barely any clouds on the sky, blue skies, dry weather, and I will catch up with you guys when we get to Kristian Song. Welcome guys to downtown Kristian Song. And yeah, to my surprise, the weather is nice down here, even though the forecast said it was going to rain. It's basically, you know, this just this thin layer of clouds or this, uh, I don't know, I would call it like, not a smog, but like a haze. And look at this, guys. They're finally building some nice things next to the train station here. This has been like deserted land forever. 
yeah, this has really been not a nice place to, to drive past. But finally, they're building some nice buildings. I don't know what they're building. Maybe some hotels and some, uh, yeah, office buildings. So we're taking a right here. And this is our turnaround point here next to these med charters here at the train station. And yeah, these are now all occupied, or at least two of them. Yeah, these are Delta chargers, so you can basically charge two cars on each of them. And let's check out the turning radius on the EQC. Can we make it all the way around? Oh, yes, 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 we can. Okay, so quickly, guys, we have now covered 301 kilometers, 22.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, 96 kilometers an hour on average speed, three hours and eight minutes. And yeah, three hours and eight minutes, no pit stops, so I have not had to, you know, stop my, uh, my timer there. 14% battery is our battery percentage. So consumption, I mean, that is not bad. That is not bad at all. Thankfully, you know, uh, when we hit the coast, we had uh, crosswinds, so our consumption dropped quite considerably. So yeah, and now we have to make it out here. Will they let us out or not? No, let's go now. Yeah, this intersection here is a bit hard because they've yeah, turn off the, uh, the, the lights. So yeah, okay. But okay, yeah, 22.4, I mean, that's not bad. So I'm very curious to see what kind of consumption we will have when we get back to Oslo, because this could be actually a good run. And yeah, three hours and eight minutes, that is a clean run, meaning we don't have a lot of traffic. And you guys have seen this test done before, you know, that traffic can be a, uh, yeah, a real, um, contributor to the the time you know going that far as far as we're going you know more than 600 kilometers traffic will always be a factor either you know doing range tests or in a real world and i try to do this test as real world as possible and sometimes yeah that means traffic but today thankfully not so much but we may still hit traffic on our way back after the charting session at Lillesand. So guys, we're just gonna continue now and I will see you when we get to Lillesand. Exit 86 is, yeah, that's our exit here at uh, Ionity Lillesand or Circle K Lillesand, whatever you wanna call it. It's the Ionity charters in Lillesand next to the Circle K station in Lillesand and uh, yeah. So I think we're going to go and do one charging stop. We could do two, but you know, this car has such a flat charging curve. You know, it's average charging speed from uh, 10 to 80% is like 94 kilowatts. Uh, check out my 10 to 80% charging speed and charging time test which is my last video. So I, I, you know, we could probably save a few minutes, but you know, we may encounter uh, faulty charters. We may encounter problems with charging or cues or whatever, you know, just, just anything. So I think we're just gonna go one charging stop today because we will, yeah, we'll save a few minutes, but not, not too much. So 324 kilometers and we also have 23 kilometers of range. 22.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and 7% battery. So yeah, we're gonna turn off the ignition here and then we're going to connect to a charger. And I do apologize guys if it is a bit, uh, if it is a bit windy. Yeah, it is a bit windy here. So I do apologize guys, but okay. So yeah, the flap's quite nice here. I like the flap here uh, on the EQC. And then we're going to, yeah, it's, it's it is a bit windy today, but we knew know that from the wind map. Uh, but it is, uh, yeah, okay, new interface there. Okay. Just a different interface from what I've seen before, so I thought we had problems with the charger. But yeah, okay, so we are now paid, and I'm going to try to keep my back. My microphone is here against the wind, so I think we're going to try to move over to this side, and then we'll see... Yeah, what kind of charging speed we do get. And yeah, do I apologize guys that it is a bit windy and also it's uh, yeah, probably not easy to see because of the glare. These screens are not the best screens in daylight. Okay, 6% battery. Um, did the car show seven or did it show six? Am I mistaken? So it takes some time to get up to speed. Okay, 20 kilowatts. 
And I do really hope you guys are seeing this. I'm going to try to angle, angle the camera a bit better, but while keeping my back to the wind, 33 kilowatts. And this is, I've, I've uh, you know, I noticed this with this EQC that it kind of, you know, ramps up the speed in, uh, in steps. So we're hanging a bit around 53 kilowatts and then up a little bit. But we should be getting close to that maximum speed now. Um, you know, yeah, so 102. And the speed will basically keep climbing up until I think 36% where we will peak at around 110 kilowatts and then it will slightly drop off but we'll still have more than 100 kilowatts up to 50 percent and even at um, 80 percent we're still at like 70 kilowatts and even at 90 this car charges at 50 so i mean the charging curve is very flat it doesn't have the highest peak speed but the flatness is is very nice so that's why i think guys that we are going to yeah that we are going to stand here on the back side so we don't have yeah, the wind blowing in my face. So I think we're going to go to around 80, 80%. No, maybe a little bit more. I calculate we, we passed here with 19% battery and then just down road here we had 18. But we do have that tailwind uh, on the way back. So maybe it will be enough to go to 80%. But I do want to have some safety margin because you guys know what happened last time. When I did this in the I-Pace, yes, the I-Pace is a bit of a different car. But yeah, if you haven't seen that video, what happened in the I-Pace, link in the description box down below. That's the last time I did this, about two weeks ago. So I think just to be safe, we're going to go to 80, maybe 82%. Yeah, okay. So guys, I'm going to go in now, get some food, get some drinks, and then go to the toilet because I haven't done any of those things in, yeah, almost four hours. And then I will catch up with you guys when we get back to Sanvika. We are now back here at our starting point here at Circle K in Sanvika. And guys, the temperature has risen to 24 degrees outside now so pretty nice and warm even though I'm wearing this yeah thin you know uh, summer jacket it is cloudy though so you wouldn't think it was that warm you know sitting in an air-conditioned car the whole day before you get out of uh, the car but okay consumption today ended at 22.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers which is yeah much more in accordance to what i was expecting under today's conditions and yeah today's conditions were actually very good almost optimal between 19 and 24 degrees celsius in dry weather though it was windy we you know took advantage of that tailwind on the way back okay let's just dive into it so the mercedes-benz eqc 400 formatic completed the norwegian high-speed run in brrr, drum roll seven hours flat seven hours and zero minutes which is yeah that is a much better time than i was expecting at the beginning of the video but you can also see from the chart below that today's conditions the temperature today are one of the mildest or warmest temperatures we have had you know that really does help with the time and also the weather even though we had that wind you know the weather today the dry roads and that high temperature really helped getting that yeah maximum um, efficiency out of this eqc today charging though 40 minutes is you know a bit on the long side but we didn't have basically no traffic i mean we basically had a 99 percent clean run today we probably only had a cleaner run on a handful of occasions more than today so yeah i'm pretty impressed and this car is you know very quiet and comfortable to travel in you know it's not as quiet as my audi e-tron yes this does have 21 inch wheels and my audi e-tron does have 20s though the tires on my e-tron are you know 255s all around this has a staggered setup um this is more prone to to wind noise and wind whistle from the mirror so it's not as quiet as my audi e-tron at traveling at speed but it's, it's almost there i mean this is a, quite a much cheaper car it's not as expensive as my e-tron so you know having that uh 
almost being as quiet yeah that's that's not not bad at all so yeah i'm pretty impressed by the summer travel time of the norwegian high speed run here in the mercedes benz eqc so guys let me know down below what you think of the performance today of this car and how it did did it do better than what you thought or was it worse than what you thought so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys please subscribe see you guys later on goodbye Cloudless skies in the midday sun.